Okay, hey everyone, I am Matt with Matsami Games, and this is episode one of our playthrough of Victoria and Empire Under the Sun, where we are playing as Uruguay. So I've got a primary playthrough of Victoria that's going on right now as I record this, which is my um, United States Manifest Destiny playthrough, and that's still going to be the primary one I'm going to focus on, but I mentioned a couple times that I had previously played the game as Uruguay, and I had a real lot of fun, because it's so much fun to take a tiny country that's like this, I think I had conquered, I conquered most of South most of South America by the end of the game, which was which was a lot of fun. So this is just going to be kind of a like a subsidiary you know playthrough. I'll probably post one episode a week or so of this uh, just to, to do it. But um, we're going to be playing as Uruguay. So to start off with, you'll notice that Uruguay has a tiny tiny army, um, has three provinces. Uh, Paysandu, Colonia, and Montevideo. Um, so this is going to be kind of a boring playthrough, I think. There's not going to be a whole lot going on. So like anytime there's nothing happening for a long time, I'm just going to kind of skip ahead, and um, you can f feel confident that you didn't miss anything. Um, but for now, I'm just going to let it go and kind of see what happens. So let's get started here. All right, the first thing you'll notice, um, I mean, first of all, let me do the research that I want to do here. I'm going to do... So for this, I'm going to really focus on these bottom three, on the commerce, culture, and industry ones. I'm not going to focus too much on army and navy as of yet. Um, I'm going to do introspectionism so I can get uh, the prestige bonus going forward. So you'll notice here in the in Uruguay, our strategic position is as follows. We have two neighbors, both of which are much bigger than us, Argentina and Brazil. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure Brazil isn't terribly aggressive in this game. Argentina can be, but they've got their own issues. Um, and there are some other countries up around, you know, here throughout the rest of South America. There's some unclaimed land down here, all of which is going to go to either Argentina or Chile by the end of, um, uh, the end of the, uh, 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 well, at, at some point they're going to claim it anyway. Okay, never mind. Uh, so where I, wh what I was going to say is that um, anyone who was actually from Uruguay, I apologize in advance. I don't know anything at all about Uruguayan history. I really should, I know, but I, I do apologize for that. Um, the only thing I know about Uruguayan history is the fact that the Graf Spee, uh, the German uh, pocket battleship, was scuttled in Mont Montevideo Harbor in 1939. Beyond that, I don't really know anything at all. So I guess we'll treat this as a learning experience, which is going to be great. Um, I'm just going to try to fix my budget markers here. Um, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. I'm um, just trying to get it to the point where we can actually have a positive balance every day and just let us start ticking on up. So you will notice um, this is I'm going to set the game on really, really fast because this goes extremely slowly at first uh, with Uruguay. There's just not a whole lot going on over the course of the first few years of Uruguay's existence. Um, which will be, you know, a little less entertaining, but hey, what can you do? All right, uh, which also will give me some time here. Um, I'm going to try to acquire machine parts. It's I'll, I'll, What will happen, you'll see, is that I'll, like, acquire, like, one every couple of years. Um, it just it, it goes very, very slowly. And we don't have any factories here, so, hey, what can you do? I think I just cut a bunch of that out there. What I, but what I all I did was just um, start trying to expand our defense spending. Um, the reason I did that is because I eventually would like to build a couple ships, and that takes a while. Um, let's check our budget here. I need education to go up. Yeah, I mean we're we're gonna very very slowly have our balance tick up over time. So at least we have one prestige. I'm I'm hoping that this isn't gonna turn into something where we you know lose prestige and then we're negative because that'll be a near disaster. Okay. Um, Texas won its independence, and they actually didn't have to give up more than Houston, which is kind of cool. Usually they end up only getting Austin and Lubbock, and the Mexicans get everything else. So um, This is kind of weird. Our budget is fluctuating right around... I don't know why that's happening. Going up, going down, going up, going down, going up, going down. Weird. <gasps> Our silk stock has spoiled. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to drop defense spending down just a little bit. Hopefully that'll help. Jaminian Attitude versus Clausewitzian Theory. Um, in the USA playthrough, I just went with Clausewitz. Again, I don't really know the difference between those two things. I normally take Jaminie because I heard somewhere that that's, I think, the right way to... No, I'm sorry. I, I take Clausewitz on this, and then I take... Uh, 
um, the more Germanian one on uh, the Navy. So that's what I usually do. Okay, way to go, guys. Sleepy, sleepy Uruguay, where nothing is happening. Let's keep going. We're, we're, our, our, um, our population is very slowly growing up, going up. I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, politics. We have a presidential dictatorship. The Blancos are in power. Um, can I change this? Can I just give you? Can I just give universal suffrage? I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna give universal suffrage to everyone because hey, why not? You know. Right to ban, trade unions, um, only not, I'm going to do only non-socialist trade unions, and then we have a state press, censored press, and something or other. Okay. We'll do some social reforms at some point, um, just not right this second. Okay, what do I, what do I have this, what, what happened here, what happened here? My crime fighting budget jumped, um... Naval Hero versus Superior Crew Thesis. I'm going to do Superior Crew. Okay. Um, this is not good. All right. Well, I'm going to drop Crime Fighting down. Thank you for auto-saving. Um, let me get my budget under control. What is going on here? Okay. Introspectionism. All right. We, we got some of that. That's good. Um, romanticism, Stock Exchange... Practical steam engine. I'm gonna do stock exchange. I'm just gonna, I guess, I'm just gonna kind of rotate between these three for now um, and kind of see what happens. Trade. How are we doing? Well, we're kind of doing about as well as we can. So, fortunately, I don't need to worry about the budget too much at this point. I mean, it's like 0.1 per day, so this will that'll let me go for a while. But I do need to at some point deal with this problem. Bhutan went bankrupt. I have to deal with the problem at some point, but I'm kind of hoping it'll just kind of let itself be fixed at some point. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we'll just kind of keep going. Do, do what we need to do for now. All right, way to go, Uruguay. Keep going. And we're back. Okay. Um, I basically cut out the first five months of 1839 because nothing happened, but now we have the superior crew thesis. So that has happened for us. That's, I guess, good. So, a corrupt official. Oh no, we lost sixteen cement. Ugh. This is the black, a black day in Uruguayan history. Very bad things have happened. We've lost our cement. Well, since I have time, uh, because nothing is happening, I'm going to zoom out and just kind of see what else is going on in the world here. So, Mexico and the U.S. are not at war. Um, the UK is fighting Punjab. Let's see what happened over here. Belgium got its independence. That's very cool. Prussia isn't really doing a whole lot. Um, Russia, not doing anything. Egypt is at war with the Ottoman Empire. Um, and they are losing, it looks like. Yeah, they're, they're losing pretty good. They're, they're going to lose all of this, is kind of what usually happens. Bolivia has declared its independence from Peru. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Click out, click out, click out. There we go. Bolivia has declared independence from their former oppressors in Peru. Way to go, Bolivia. Uh, you gonna There we go. There we go. All right. Bolivia. Excellent. Peru. Can I declare war on them? No, don't want to do that. Okay. I'm just kind of curious. All right. Moving on. Okay, so it's now April of 1840. The big event this month was that Texas has applied for statehood and uh, the USA accepted it. Mexico went protest violently. So that's very exciting for anybody who's caring about what's going on up here. They're going to they're gonna, you know, go to war eventually, the Mexicans and the uh, Americans are. All right, stock exchange. Good, 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 good. We are making progress. Okay, uh, let's see. Ad hoc money printing bill. Idealism. Mechanized mining. Uh, I'm gonna do yeah, idealism will work for right now. We'll we'll just kind of keep trying to build up that prestige a little bit. Um, all right, we're back in kind of a balance, I guess, budgetary balance. It's kind of going up and down a little bit, but not uh, too crazy. 
Sorry, the, the pop-ups in this are going to be really obnoxious. That's just because of how fast we're going right now. I think this is going to be a really short series, given how quickly things are going, <laughs> quite frankly. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, what else is going on in the world? Anything at all. Can I colonize anything? Nope, I can't. Okay. Texas is now a state. Oh, wow, okay. We got, we, got a, we got a war up here. We got a war up here. Uh, USA at Texas is now a U.S. state. Texas had Texas accepted as a U.S. state. Uh, USA annexed Texas. Mexico declared war on the USA. Liberia has joined the war on the same side as the USA in their war against Mexico. Way to go, Liberia. You guys rock. All right. Well, since nothing's happening in... Uh, oh, uh, let's see. Egypt has accepted peace with the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, see, they lost all this. This is kind of what they usually do. Um, since there's no nothing going on in South America right now, I'm just going to watch the uh, Mexican-American War happen. Let's just watch it and see what happens here. Is there going to be any movement at all? All right, we're, we're one month in now, and uh, the USA is making some progress in Texas here, very slowly. Very slowly. <gasps> traitor executed. This infamous criminal and traitor whose fraternization with the enemy is well known and proven was publicly executed at dawn today. The convict was said to have been silent and reserved, but declined his right to see a priest before the execution. Prestige plus five, yay. Relation with Brazil, minus 50. Um, that's less of a concern, because we're at 147, and I'm sure they're going to improve their relations with us, so I'm not, I'm not super worried about it. Um, Argentina has good relations with us. Paraguay has pretty good relations with us. We'll have to worry about Paraguay a little bit just to make sure that things don't go south, but um, not super worried at this point. I don't think anyone's going to try to conquer us just yet, although we are a very inviting little target here. Deutschland lead. Is that anything? No, doesn't look like it's anything. Well, there's a little bit of back and forth going on here, it looks like. I thought USA took this and this, and now the Mexicans have taken it back, but USA is fighting down into Matamoros. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. I, I, they should. The USA usually wins this war. I mean, there's no. Excuse me. Cut that. Like I was saying, the USA usually wins this war. There's usually. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen Mexico win it. I should at some point do a playthrough as Mexico, so I can try to win the Mexican-American War. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, for now. USA has fully mobilized their reserves. I'm surprised they hadn't already. Brazil. Yeah, see, Brazil uh, su successfully improved our relations, so we're back to 193, even though I apparently executed a Brazilian in the course of that. Uh, let me check in on the home country right now because I've just been kind of screwing around up north. Um, yeah, good job, guys. Keep, keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. All right, we developed idealism. Excellent. Uh, next, mechanized mining, freedom of trade... Yeah, do I have sheep ranches here? I think I have sheep ranches here. I got cattle, sheep, cattle, sheep, and cattle. So if I do freedom of trade, I'm just gonna kind of look down here. Um, so the cattle ranches are 105% more efficient. Sheep is 205. Yeah, we need to do this one. That'll just that'll that'll so much improve our our exports and our output. It's it's just it's we'd be silly not to do that. Cool. Neo-Kantian idealism. Kant's transcendental idealism had meant that the world can only be understood through categories or ideal concepts that are imminent in us and empirically. This is sometimes called weak empiricism. The Neo-Kantian idealist, however, departed very far from Kant and more or less went back to a more classical idealism, though interpreted in a Kantian language referring to categories and their analyses of the world. I don't know what any of that means, but the good news is we get seven prestige for the discovery. So, awesome. Way to go, Uruguay. We're gonna we're gonna get some prestige here, man. I'm, I'm liking this. We have more prestige than Brazil. We're we're tenth in the world. Look at that, Uruguay, tenth in the world. After uh, in fact, the USA is the USA right behind us. US, oh, USA is first. I'm sorry. Okay, I was confused by that. Mexico has accepted peace with Liberia on the following terms: return to status quo. Alas, oh well. Okay, well, we're still keeping on here. We're up to 1842 now, and still nothing has happened back home. But I think once we get freedom of trade done, that'll make things a little bit easier for us.
Okay, it's January of 1843, and um, I just skipped ahead a little bit. There's really not much that they're happening. Expansive forces in agriculture, cheap loans, increased net profits, etc., etc., etc. Um, the good news for us is that sheep ranches and looks like only sheep ranches are 5% more efficient. So, hey, we got some more sheep coming out, I guess. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah, it's just not, not a whole lot going on right now. Um, that's why I jumped ahead. Well, our population is growing. That's good. Um, the U.S. and Mexico are still kind of going back and forth. It's a little, uh, little interesting here to watch it, but... Obviously, since I can't see the armies moving, I don't really know what all is. Okay, we're back to, uh, it's October of 1843 now, and the USA is making real progress in their war against Mexico. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, corruption of Montevideo has been purged. All right, freedom of trade. Excellent, 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 excellent. That's what we wanted to see. Okay, next up, we have military staff, alphabetic flag signaling, market structure, basic chemistry, ideological thought. Oh, um, gotta do ideological thought. I, I need to get the industry, industrial stuff going, but the prestige bonuses are just too good to ignore um, from those, you know, various liberal artsy kind of uh, kind of things. United Kingdom had the YMCA. YMCA. Yeah, the U.S. is making real progress now in their war against Mexico. I would have expected more than this at this point because they've been fighting for about almost, gosh, three years now, I think. Um, I would have expected more at this point because they've been fighting for about three years now, but hey, that's all right. Keep on keeping on, USA. At some point, they're going to reach a settlement agreement, and then the event is going to fire, and it's going to give the USA all of, all of this. But, yeah, well. Let's take a look around the world real quick. Uh, anything going on? Nothing, 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 nothing with you guys, nothing with the Ottomans. Oh, crud. Political assassination, prestige minus 10. Ugh. That is the worst event to fire right there. The pro It doesn't matter too much if you're like playing as the UK and your prestige is huge and or if you're if you're playing as the US and it's later on, but the political assassination event is crippling uh, early on for Uruguay when we have so little prestige. I mean, I've had this I've had this fire before at the very beginning of a game, and it just, like, takes you down to minus 10 prestige, which is just so utterly damaging. It's almost impossible to climb out of that hole. Because, um, like, what? Because as long as your prestige is positive, you're fine. If it's negative, you are in real, real trouble. Um, so, yeah, that's unfortunate. I hope it doesn't fire again. And I hope we get something else that will cause our uh, prestige to go back up. March of 1845, and still limited things are happening. Um, I I hope you weren't watching this video expecting things to you know kick off quickly. It's just going to take a little while to build up things for Uruguay. Um, yeah, but I mean, hey, look, we're uh, to 7,400 farmers in Colonia now. This is uh, this is progress. See that war? Sometimes that event, the Sonderbund Rebellion, that kicks off a war between France and um, Switzerland, but it doesn't appear to have done that yet. Uh, U.S. and Mexico are still fighting each other. Gosh, like when are they gonna come to the end of the war? Jeez, come on, guys. Oop, ideological thought. Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay. All right. So what do we have now? We have basic chemistry. We have associationism. Ad hoc money printing bill. Money bill printing. I'm going to keep butchering that. Um, all right. I know I keep saying I need to do basic chemistry, but I'm just going to do another rank of these liberal artsy kind of things. They're just It's just too good to pass up. So, Okay. My budget looks like it's pretty um, consistent in that we're going to be in the black. So that's good. Yeah, it's pretty consistently in the black. Um, so I'm going to move up you, and I'm going to move up you. Okay. Yeah, the more of that I can do. Ooh, wait, wait, what? USA accepted peace with Mexico on the following terms, return to status quo. 
That's bizarre. I, maybe that'll fire the, the event. I don't know. Committee for Polish Independence. Did that turn into anything? Poland? No? Okay. Well, fair enough. All right, let's keep going. January of 1846. Well, in the in the North American department, they just had the um, treaty that gave basically gives Britain, British Columbia, and uh, the U.S. the Pacific Northwest. Tradition. Okay, now we have the. We have a new military academy founded. The quality and quantity of a nation's military officers depends on its ability to educate them. From time to time, prudent men would recognize this fact and establish a new military academy to meet this need. Support the idea. Let the opportunity pass. I'm going to support the idea, even though it's going to take away most of our money. That's okay, though. Um, since February of 1847, I just noticed that Argentina's got rebellions going on here. That's, um... Well, then, Denmark has mobilized... No, yes, that's. Ah, uh, well. Yes, yeah, so we're we're over a year after the USA and Mexico reached peace, and this bit of land has still not gone to the USA. I don't quite know what's going on with that, but hey, whatever. Whatever. And for the record, uh, Uruguay is 28th in the world in prestige, which is kind of interesting. Oh, okay. Um, here we go. Uh, our scientists have completed their research into associationism. Excellent. Now, um, ad hoc money printing mill, romanticism, practical steam engine. All right. I'm going to do another liberal artsy one. I know, I know, I know. I said I was going to stop doing that, but um, the prestige is just too good to pass up. I, I, can't, I can't pass it up, especially for a country like Uruguay that is so small. You know, we need everything, but... Um, you know, I mean, the, the additional prestige is just going to be so beneficial for us that I can't pass that up. Okay, we reached January of 1848, and the um, event giving the Southwest to the United States has not fired yet. I'm kind of curious what's going on up there. I'm, I'm assuming the event is still going to fire at some point, but who knows. But for us, I mean, all we're doing is just doing more research and marching our way along. Political religion is the doctrine that ties religion and political means together. Knowledge is often viewed as divinely given, and religious truth cannot be disproved. Disapproved or disproved? I don't know. Anyway, plurality minus five. So. July of 1848, and still not much has happened. October of 1848, hierarchical order. Hierarchical order is a system where several components or levels are dependent on the respective higher one. The components get smaller the higher they are. Um, we still have this plurality minus five events that are firing, which is, I don't know fully what those mean. Those are making me a little nervous, though. Um, we, I guess, shall see. All right. We're up over 26,000 people in Paisandu, and we're up over 8,000 in Colonia. This, this is awesome. We're, we're growing our population. Way to go. Way to go, Uruguayans. March of 1849, authoritarianism is the view that authority is the most important value which give balance and stability to it. It is often combined with traditionalism to give an epistemological foundation for those who should wield this authority. Plurality minus five again. Paternalism is the attitude of a person or government that subordinates should be controlled in a fatherly way for their own good. Plurality minus five again. <sighs> Liquor stock goes missing in transit. Okay, there we go. March of 1849. Romanticism has been discovered. That is excellent. Okay. Um, Malthusian thought. Okay, I can finally... Uh, the rate of migration to our colonies. Yeah, I can skip that one. Ad hoc money printing bill. Muzzle loaded rifles. Okay, now I can do mechanized uh, mining, which I've been meaning to do for quite some time now. And uh, it is now up to March of 1849, and I'm going to call it a part here. Um, my anticipation for this series is both that the series will be short and that the episodes will be much shorter than my um, USA series. Basically, anything that uh, where nothing has happened, which was a good chunk of this, is going to get cut out. Although I'm going to record for about the same amount of time as I do for my USA playthrough. Um... I'm not going to include all that in the video. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's just going to be kind of a fun little series. And, you know, I know not, not, much, not too much happened right now, but I'm hoping that more will happen in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed it, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and please come back for the next episode. I've been Matt with Matsami Games. Have a great day.